Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com doing a personal box for Rick Barker. Rick Barker and oh, we missed Rick in Phoenix. He had some tooth thing going on. We'll see you next year at the Tops Energy Conference, Rick, or you can visit us in LA. He's going to do a personal box of 2019 Tops Heritage Baseball. I grabbed a random box. It turns out to be box number nine. So let's see what happens in here. Rick is looking specifically for a Ronald Acuna Jr. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Um, there's an autograph in there or a relic card. So autographs are not guaranteed, but let's see what we got. And maybe a cool box topper in here. All right. Top teammates. We'll set that aside. We'll do that at the end. If you go to cardboardconnection.com, they'll give you a nice variation thing right here. So we'll keep we'll put this on the recording as well, Rick. There you go. So most of these are gonna end in 92. There's a good handful of base short prints. It's any card numbered 401 and up. And then all the serial numbers at the uh, at the bottom of the card, at the end of the card right there, will be all of these. I think the most difficult one to get is the throwback. I think most of the other ones are like one out of every 2,000 or so packs. The short, the base short prints are a little more common. But the, it's the throwback ones that are like one out of every like 10,000 packs according to, or more, according to uh, CardboardConnection.com and their info there. But yeah, the short prints definitely do well in secondary markets. And Garrett reporting that we're down to three on Contenders Optic Football. Nice. Let's do the stack first. Kind of breeze through these. Is that an action? No. Well, all, all cards ship. You got a Mookie Betts relic. Might not bode well for the autograph, but maybe we'll get lucky. But you got Mookie Betts. Of course, it's very strong. Nice. Game use memorabilia as well. All right. I definitely think like the... So that's a high number short print right there. I definitely think it's a short print that almost do better than some of the autographs that we'll find in here. Um, all card ship, but I'm going to try to glance really quickly on the backs of these to see if maybe we can spot a short print. The color swaps are kind of hard to see. The action, the action uh, short prints are kind of harder to, uh, or are a little bit easier to spot than the other ones. But you'll get all the cards, so you can check your double check too. It's a high number short print. I like the news flashback cards in here too. Jason Bell couldn't find any Heritage at Walmart. Are, are retail editions of Heritage out already? So instead of purchase Contenders, Football Blaster 2 and 4 Jumbo Packs, pulled three autos. Including a Marcel Aitman who haunts all of your personal... What's wrong with Marcel Aitman? A great o Oklahoma State product. A Raider. He, uh... He was okay. As a Raider, showed showed some moments. Maybe has ten catches. I 
Oh, they so retail editions are out. Okay. All right, let's look, look at this stack. And I see four other orders coming in. So it looks like people do want to do that uh, Donner Softic football. That's down to three. We just have Vikings twenty nine ninety nine, Niners thirty nine ninety nine, and Titans twenty one ninety nine. So that break should definitely happen tonight. Um, and then maybe we'll still, you know, after that break, we'll see if we have the, uh, if we want to, if we're feeling spicy enough to do that Leaf best of after that. High number, short print. Nothing jumps out there. Uh yeah yeah, uh, Roy. I was I was watching the game. You don't have to remind me. Yeah, I'm well aware that the Lakers were winning with three minutes left, and the Bucks still won by double digits. Yeah, I get it. Your team's good. Your team's good. I get it. I remember this. That was a nice moment. The other moments weren't nice. Yeah, I noticed it. I noticed it. High number short print. So that's the. Those are the base short prints. I don't think that's that dumb of a question. Some do, some don't. Bill. Yeah, they weren't double digits when they played Sacramento. Huh? Wow, John Samuelson is all grown's up, ladies and gentlemen. All grown's up. I think I just printed my first eBay label at home success. You have a printer at home? Wow. I can ship from home now, no more post office. Congrats. You have you have now what did Obi-Wan Kenobi once say? You've now entered a whole new world? No, that's Aladdin. The rookie that's going to stand out this year? Yeah, I think uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. should be the big one. Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox should be a big one as well. Fernando Tatis Jr. Those should be the big ones. Wow, John, you actually got a special label maker for the shipping? It's kind of hard to say, though. Um, you know, remember, Juan Soto came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Is that a... No. 
Juan Soto, Juan Soto came out of nowhere. Ozzy Albius and then Cunha Jr. for that matter. I don't think we're, we're on anybody's radar. You know, except for like Braves fans maybe. Or AL or NL East fans. But I don't think they were on a, a very broad radar. All right, so no other great short prints, but be sure to double check those numbers. I, I I was just kind of breezing through them, so I may have missed them. But you got some uh, some base short prints. Those cards are numbered four hundred one and up. So some of these may have some solid value here, but we'll see. Yeah, Nick Senzel could be could be another one as well. There's Juan Soto right there. Victor Robles should have come up last year, but I think he could be an interesting one. There's Kershaw. Let's do that box topper too. Let's see what we got here. And we've got the Topps teammate sales team. It's exciting. <laughs> this guy I know. That's Kevin O'Neill. We interact with him a lot. So there you go. I don't know these other people here. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Rick Barker, there you go. This guy's actually really nice. Tries to help us out a lot in the hobby. They get it. All right, Rick. There you go. Thanks very much. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.